From Phoenix Shaving, for a limited time only, Lather Blaster 3000. My thanks to viewer Beth Jones for sending this one along to the channel and allowing me to share with all the viewers out there. So, we're going to have a shave with it, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and my channels everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. We are having a shave with a brand new shave soap in the shave den, courtesy of viewer Beth Jones. Thank you very, very much, Beth. This is uh, from Phoenix Shaving Lather Blaster 3000. An absolutely awesome, awesome barbershop scent. We're going to get into the actual specifics and details about the scent and what they have to say on their product page in just a moment. We've just done about maybe five or six swirls in the puck. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I'm just going to get a little more water. My gosh, this just, it was inc it's just exploding. I mean, I've already got a boom lather. Oh my gosh. I've already cleaned my face with the Q2.0 pre-shave soap, and I'm going to apply that again right now to kind of get that on, and we're going to paint this lather on. So hang on one minute. Yeah, we're going to... Man, it's an absolutely marvelous, marvelous barbershop scent. Really nice. My thanks to Beth Jones for sending this one along to the channel and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. It is marvelous. I'm using my Atomic Rocket Shaving Brush, and I'm also using my Starry Night Lathering Bowl, which also came courtesy of the viewer Beth Jones. Beth, thank you very, very much. It's a fantastic, fantastic lathering bowl, and it really helped whip up an incredible lather. Uh, but then again, CK6 is absolutely marvelous. And oh my gosh, look at that. Look at this lather I've got here. My gosh. Wow. That is absolutely marvelous. I mean, it's just fantastic. Okay. I'm just going to let that rest on the face there. And I'm going to let it soften the whisker and moisturize the skin a little bit. And it really is a marvelous, marvelous barbershop scent. Look how much I have there. My hands are kind of slick. I want to be careful that I don't... Uh, well, here, i got a little towel over here I'm going to use. Okay. Like that, just to dry my hands off. They're a little bit here. Let me just tell you a little bit about the... Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Lather Blaster... 3000. If I get my, <laughs> I can get my tablet open. There it is on the Phoenix Shaving app right there. Uh, here's the scent profile. Uh, talc, sandalwood, bourbon, tobacco absolute, Peruvian Mira resin, Indonesian brown Damar resin, and strawberry aldehyde. Wow. And as uh, Douglas writes here on the product page, the kiss of strawberry aldehyde adds a kind of electric zing, which plays really well with the tobacco note. The tree resins not only work as natural fixatives for the scent, but also add a nice warm vanilla-esque balsam and a resinous note that really grounds the accord. Lastly, the talc on top softens the Indian sandalwood even more, making for a truly classic creamy barbershop blend that melts like butter on the skin. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so happy to be using this one. My thanks again to Beth Jones for sending it along. It's absolutely fantastic. It's only available for a limited time, which is why we're getting this review done. I'm going to be using my uh, Phoenix Shading Brass Metaphor Razor right here. And uh, you know what? Because it's brass, it kind of has a gold look to it, and uh, that sort of thing. We're going to use the uh, Gillette Menorah Golden Shave Razor Blades right here, 
one of these, <laughs> one of them, a razor blade. Razor blades, plural in the pack, but we're going to pull out a razor blade. My thanks again to Beth Jones once more. Thank you very much, Beth, for these blades. Absolutely fantastic. Here they are right here. These are terrific, terrific blades. She uh, compares them to the Gillette Swede. Uh, the Gillette Swedes, boy, those are good. Yeah, these are right up there with those. Uh, she's very, she's, she's very correct. Very, very accurate. All right, so there it is right there in the cap. Here's my uh, base plate. Love this razor. It has just a nice, beautiful, slim profile. Nice, nice, mild quality to it, yet very, very efficient. Love the, uh, the, I love the, I love the brass. It's made out of solid brass. And, uh, check out that balance and alignment there. Absolutely fantastic. Spot on. Slim profile to the razor head. End tabs are enclosed in the razor head. We're doing a cold water shave, by the way. It was, uh, it was rather warm today. So, uh, we're doing a cold water shave. Here we go. All righty. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, I tell you what, this is nice. That CK6 is absolutely fantastic. But boy, when they say it melts like butter, man, this is really very, very good. Wow. I think the blade, the razor, and the soap, just a fantastic one, two, three for uh, an absolutely fantastic shave so far. Wow, that's nice. That is really, really nice. Very refreshing cold water shave, as I say, last couple of days have been warm. Boy, that did a great job in getting the chin. Not bad um, getting the upper lip. Probably a good, I would say, 75%. Uh, I'm going to get the remainder of that in the east to west pass. That's not going to be a problem at all. Uh, okay, first pass done. Let's rinse. Nice. Very, very nice first pass. I would say um, very, very close. I would say I'm in, I'm in socially acceptable Shave territory, very, very close to darn fine shave territory. Not quite there, but definitely getting there. And look at how much wonderful, rich, creamy, yogurty lather I have. Oh, this is just, there is something about this particular <laughs> blend of ingredients with this shave soap that really does give it a, a nice, a buttery melt on your skin quality. That's a very good way of describing it. Really terrific. A lot of great protection. Let me just say that again. A lot of great protection. My goodness. This is fantastic. This is one I'm going to use with say two to three days worth of beard growth. I'm going to get out, get out a, uh, an adjustable razor that uh, needs to be turned up a little bit or a razor that's a little more on the Higher on the efficiency or aggression scale. Yeah, this this shave soap will definitely do the trick. Hey, we're gonna go with pass number two. We're gonna go east to west across the grain. That's really really nice. Second pass is usually my money pass, especially with one day's worth of beard growth, which is what I have. So we'll see.
Boy, I tell you what, this razor, this is a fantastic razor. I just love its smooth, forgiving quality. Just really, really very nice. Now, admittedly, the shape of the razor head, you know, it doesn't allow me to get too far underneath the nostrils, but that's okay. On the East to West Pass, I'm definitely going to clean up the remainder of it. And that's kind of par for the course, really. Does an excellent job on East to West, underneath the nose, underneath the nostrils. Be perfectly honest with you, perhaps my first estimate was incorrect. Maybe it was more like 80 to 85 percent. Because it's it's cleaning up quite a bit, but I mean that it's not it's cleaning up, but not as much as I thought. I thought I was going to clean up quite a bit, but it's not as much as I thought. That's what I wanted to say. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. All right, you know what? This shave is in, I'm in darn fine shave territory. No doubt about it because it's a very, very nice, mild, yet efficient uh, razor. I could probably do a little clean up here, a little touch up here, a little touch up. Maybe it's a little touch up here and here. And uh, uh, I think I'll be upper lip and underneath the nostrils. I'm good. But maybe a little bit of touch up right there is really all I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a third pass because I'm enjoying it so much. But just know that it's really pretty much a touch up pass. But I love doing the third pass, especially with uh, this razor because of its nice mild quality and uh, this will uh, this will be a nice enjoyable third pass and the razor head has stayed very very snug and secure I'm always checking it it's a force of habit so here we go we're going to go with pass number three we're going to go South and north against the grain. Yeah, that area right there, I need a little touch up. I mean, it's kind of a judgment call. I think after two passes, those whiskers probably would retract as well. But still, you know... The razor has such a nice quality to it, a nice mild quality to it. I can go against the grain on the corners of my mouth with no problem at all, with no tugging or pulling there. And this menorah blade is absolutely wonderful in this razor. Yeah, and we got the uh, got the majority underneath the nose, close to the nostrils. As I say, after the first pass, I think uh, I think I got more than I originally thought, and I think that probably would have put me in. I think, as I recall, put me in darn fine shape, not darn fine shape, socially acceptable shape territory. I could have run out the door, would have been fine, would have been a, a decent shave to kind of get through the day. Uh, but definitely second pass really got me into darn fine shave, shave territory. Perhaps, maybe not so close to BBS. Again, don't try to find the BBS. Let's let the BBS find you. This third pass was a touch-up. Let's see where we're at.
This is BBS. <laughs> BBS, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna do one cold water rinse. I'm gonna get my Feeny Shaving Alum Block, uh, see what kind of feedback I get, and then we'll do my aftershave and uh, aftershave splash and balm. All right, so here we go with the uh, cold water rinse. Okay, that was great. That was really, really great. Very, very satisfying uh, cold water rinse. A lot of slickness there that had to be removed. Terrific. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, boy. That's a nice, boy, that's a, that's a nice shave. The main takeaway here is how comfortable it was. Just a really, really comfortable, comfortable shave. A lot of beautiful cushion and protection from CK6, and this scent is just really a winner. Uh, I love, as you know, I love the barbershop scents, and this is another one that is absolutely fantastic. Really, really terrific. All right, here we go with the uh, Allen block right here. And we're going to run this under some cold water. All right, here we go. Boy, that's smooth as ice. There's no stinging at all. There's some nice bracing from the uh, alum. And uh, if there was a sting, it was really, really mild. I don't even know if I could describe it as a sting. Uh, not a sting, a zing. If there was a zing, it was very, very mild. But there's definitely no stinging. And uh, man, if there was a zing there, it was just really just kind of here and there, here and gone. Uh, we're going to take this and just set that into the dry dock like that. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you the atomic rocket. Here's the uh, Starry Night Lathering Bowl. Boy, this did a terrific job. This lathering bowl is absolutely wonderful. And here is all, look how much lather I have left here. As I say, I did a swirl of about maybe uh, Five or six swirls with the brush. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. CK6 is just, it's marvelous. It really, really is. And I'll show you that it was a new puck. You can tell it's still a new puck because um, you can see there just a few swirls that you still have that, that uh, new puck look to it from the original pour. Uh, yeah, just a few, like, I think maybe five swirls, six swirls, probably could have done four. <laughs> and it would have been more than enough lather. Wow, absolutely fantastic. All right, now I do not have the uh, Lather Blaster 3000 uh, Star Jelly or Aftershave Splash. It's on my list. I'm going to get up there and get those because that's how great of a scent this is. But uh, to try to find something to complement it, I thought I'd go with uh, Atmodic because it does have a nice barbershop quality as well. So that's what we're going to use. Even though it's not Lather Blaster 3000, it's, you know, it's in that ballpark. Okay? It's a barbershop in that ballpark. Now I need to do a uh, head shave. Later on, so I'm just going to use a little bit of star jelly because I am going to do a head shave. I got about, I don't know, what I got two, three days worth of growth there I got to get rid of. So just a little bit like that is all I'm going to use, okay? Wow! Great, great shave. Absolutely marvelous. Let me get this lid on here. I love the artwork of. Uh, I love the artwork that Phoenix Shaving creates for all their shave soaps. Check that out. Lather Blaster 3000. I mean, the, the names are so creative. The artwork is so creative. It just, I'll, I'll take this off and let it dry out properly after camera stop. But I want to put it together to show it to you on camera like this. 
along with this uh, beautiful, beautiful brass metaphor razor. Uh, it just really did an absolutely fantastic, fantastic job. So there it is, uh, Ladder Blaster 3000, along with the metaphor razor and the Gillette Menorah Golden Shaves razor blade. Uh, my gosh, <laughs> what an absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Smooth and comfortable. A lot of wonderful, wonderful cushion with this uh, particular shave soap, CK6. But there's something in there. I don't know what it is. He, when, when Douglas says it's got, it melts, you know, melts like butter into your skin, it really does. Great, great post shave feel. Absolutely. I probably could have just uh, skipped the aftershave splash and just run out the door. That's really <laughs> how great this is, and it's a great scent. So I need to get the aftershave splash and the star jelly for this, absolutely. It's only going to be available for a limited time, so make sure you get it up there. You get up there before it's gone, because it's a seasonal release. Again, my thanks to viewer Beth Jones for sending along Lather Blaster 3000 to the channel and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. Thank you very, very much, Beth. I really, really do appreciate it. Again, folks, from Phoenix Shaving, Lather Blaster 3000, available for a limited time only. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.